Nice. So here's the third book, which is the Lair of the Chuck. Tell me all about it. There you are. It's about time somebody normal stopped by. There I was, minding my own business, when this spooky lady wearing an unnecessarily large hat comes bursting out of the water and says she has a book for me. Is there anyone around here who doesn't just appear and disappear whenever they feel like it? There he is. Okay. Right on cue. Now I know you're all doing it on purpose. If Bell has brought word to us from Melee, then Guybrush must be ready to depart. I shall reopen a path to the Sea of the Damned, so that you may join him on his journey to Monkey Island and face the Chuck together. I must confess, even I did not truly believe such a place really existed. But memory or no, tales of the power Monkey Island conceals should be taken most seriously. Treepwood may be a scrawny dope, but he's beaten LeChuck before. We really need to worry. The Sword of Souls is a formidable weapon. It was created to release captive spirits. But when fully reforged as the burning blade, it will grant LeChuck the power to enslave them. I knew I shouldn't have asked. Well, what are we waiting for? Indeed. We have come too far to abandon Guybrush now. Use his memoirs to guide you, and make sure that Chuck never gets a chance to wield the burning blade. Captain Capsize and I must attend to a mission of our own. You've got his memoirs. Now get through that archway and help Threepwood. He'll almost certainly need it. But again, how do you know that's the real uh, Pirate Lord? We don't. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. A conspiracy. That's not the real pirate lords. That's like Chuck. He's the big bad evil man. Here we go. I wonder if we're gonna get uh, confronted by, or well, not confronted, but if we're gonna see Guybrush pull up next to us this time, or if it still can be the ghost ship. The loom guy. Close to the Black Pearl, so we don't get separated. Ready, Mr. Mancombe? Deploy the cinnamon in three, two... Cinnamon Incorporated, Captain. Prepare the chicken. No, the rubber chicken. Avian Ascension Apparatus added. And be ready with the mints. Billy, that we're fresh out. What? Already? Twas spiffy what had the last of them, Captain. Done his breath a power of good. Oh, spiffy's aboard as well. Something. What about these? Those look like cucumbers. Oh, pickled cucumbers. I found about 30 jars in the Captain's quarters. But they're green, and they grow outdoors, so I reckon... Why would anyone keep... How the heck with it? Throw it all in the pot. Reckless recipe replacements reducing, sir. Should be ready any moment. Monkey Island. I'm coming, Elaine. Full speed ahead, Mr. Cobb. Show me what the Black Pearl can really do. Oi. <laughs> Oi. Oh, his name's Cobb. That's right. Going straight to Monkey Island. Look at that. So that's cool. We actually, and it's interesting that they took, they took the black pearl, uh, rather than. I feel like they would have taken the mad monkey, you know. But I did see the mad monkeys in the trailer, so they definitely end up with the mad monkey deep in the Caribbean. Actually, weird seeing this not in day nighttime. Monkey Island. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm just excited to explore this in general. I'll be honest with you. Alright, nice. I didn't want to park all the way near shore, because that would be quite bad. I see fire over that way. Smoke. So that must be where Herman, Herman Toothright is chilling. That must be his base over there. Are the vultures still here? No vultures. I should probably check them out as well, make sure they're okay. 
But seeing as that podium over there in the trailer, it got shot down with the rock. I'm going to guess that we don't need bananas. So we're not going to see the monkey, I don't think. Move with the skull. That's not Murray, is it? Something suitable could be placed here. Gotcha. Okay, that's a hint for what's to come. I want to go over here. What's this over here? There's something shiny over here. Again, I will check on these guys. I will. I promise I will. But... Oh, it's a mirror. Alright, let me go check on these guys. I want to make sure they're okay. Got Mancomb on there. We got Cobb on there. We got Spiffy. Hello? Oh, you're here as well. Hey, you. Stay out of the kitchen. Guybrush asked if he could borrow my cooking pot. He said that brewing a special recipe is the only way to reach Monkey Island. It's true. Mint, gunpowder, a uh, cereal, a live chicken, a skull. It's a lot of ingredients. So yeah, definitely needs uh, a cook. You need squid ink, cinnamon, zinc oxide, monkey blood. It's a very delicate and sophisticated oh, task. Wow. Conveniently, he listed off the ones that I forgot. <laughs> Mancomb turned out to be a natural. Maybe he should be my new assistant chef. But, didn't, but you didn't follow Guybrush? Nope. That cooking pot's been in the family for five generations. There's no way I'm leaving it unguarded in a place like this. And hey, isn't stopping LeChuck supposed to be your job? Uh, it's technically Guybrush's job, but yeah, sure. My job too. This place is huge. I don't really care about Russell, I guess I say. I'm looking for my boy. There's Mancomb. So, you found your way along in our wake. Welcome to Monkey Island. We are now. See, folks weren't best pleased to learn they'd been beguiled, nor that the legend of Monkey Island was so much bilge water. Guybrush tried to set things right, but a lot of people weren't happy, and very few believed him when he said LeChuck was behind the whole thing. Oh man, poor Guybrush, man. He was involved in something that wasn't necessarily his fault. <laughs> And then they gets blamed for it. <laughs> Treasure and lots of it. After apologizing, pleading and persuading didn't work. Guybrush remembered that pirates can be quite amenable to bribery. There's a fair chunk of the governor's treasury waiting for me back on Melee Island. Enough to settle my sizable tab at the scum bar. Until then, I'll be the most loyal shipmate you've ever seen. Reasonable. Where can I find Guybrush? The lad jumped overboard as soon as we reached the shallows and raced off into the jungle. And the pooch went after him like a bolt of lightning. Oh, fair enough. Well, he was yelling about a gigantic stone monkey head near here. Supposedly, it's a secret entrance to somewhere or other. Sounds like it'd be hard to miss. Anything else you can tell me? Only that you should watch where you tread. Supposedly, there's an old castaway living around here with a fondness for setting traps. One of the cannibals are going to still be here. They should be because they're a pretty important part of Monkey Island, but... I spied their camp on the southern beach as we were sailing by. They're sure to know plenty about the island, assuming they're not completely cracked by now. Um, Happy though I was to accompany Guybrush on his journey in exchange for generous remuneration, of course. The rest is up to him. Doesn't sound very loyal. I'll not be getting myself into a fight with LeChuck, nor his crew, for the sake of Guybrush. Money's no good if you're too dead to spend it. She just gone to live around. Aye, that we are. It's been too long since I got to work on my tan. But don't let us stop you from exploring, putting yourself in mortal peril and so on. Stop by again and let us know how you get on. You guys, I know better than Kara, Meat Hook, and uh, Otis. There's no need to phrase that so accusingly. Guybrush was quite intent on paying for his passage. But after hunting high and low, Stan was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, I wonder why. I don't know what happened to him. I wouldn't be any part of that. Therefore, we invoked a unilateral residence of Melee Association proclamation and availed ourselves of nearby assets for the good of the community. 
Also known as Dylan the Ship. Well, if you ask me, it's Stan who's the real crook in all of this. Turns out that this isn't even the genuine article. The paint comes right off. Classic. I suppose the real Black Pearl must be off on some grand adventure of her own. Though I doubt she'll find stranger tides than these. Hey, oh, it's a reference to the book. You get it? Because it's the name of the it would have book it's from and Stranger Tides. Hey, you get it? You get it, sir? <laughs> hey, Cobb. Oh, hang on. Captain Coco, what are you doing here? Broad Border's good luck charm? I see. You're right. It's very undignified. I'll set you free. Are you okay? You look a little worse for wear. No, you're right. I'm partly to blame. How can I help? You're right. There must be something we can do. Good idea. I'll find something to help you see. Hang in there. Aye. You joined Guybrush's crew? Aye. Huh. See, this guy I can get behind. He's just straight to the point. Are you using Captain Coco as a good luck charm? Aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. Reasonable. Tell me about Guybrush's journey to Monkey Island. I'd say it greatly increases the dramatic tension by promising a fateful encounter between an iconic hero and villain in an unforgettable locale. By presenting such a marked visual juxtaposition to Melee Island, that sense of the familiar is replaced with an uncanny feeling of dread. Furthermore, the tonal dissonance created when such an idyllic location is framed as your final and thus logically most challenging destination should not be underestimated. The serenity and almost total lack of human interaction can only serve to heighten the sense of awe and wonder as you rely on your own spatial awareness to progress. He's by the big monkey head in the jungle. Good luck. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Love where every now and then they'll just make him break character. Alright, I guess we're gonna delve deep into the jungle. If I can find a way to delve deep into the jungle. Oh, conveniently place path. Hello? There's the vultures. There's a monkey. Huh, nothing in it. There's those of them. And they're pointing, so I'm guessing they're giving directions. Oh, if you listen carefully, it has the exact same ambience as Monkey Island as well. Hello. You want to look at me while you're talking to me, or? Nice having a chance to talk with somebody civilized. It's been a while. You were alone on Monkey Island? <laughs> I said I was the only civilized person, not the only one. But Chuck and his crew showed up a while back, but civil they are not. And you know what's worse? All those other new ghosts and ghouls saying they're from some Sea of the Damned or some such thing. Sea of the Extremely Rude, that's what I call it. Sea of the Extremely Rude, reasonable. They've been stampeding all over Monkey Island, making off with whatever they fancy, and wreaking havoc with the ancient Monkey Idol. Things got so bad, the island's inhabitants decided to leave. The northern shores are deserted now. Part of Monkey Island's heritage, its soul, scuffed out. <sighs> Such a shame. <laughs> well, at least now they won't be stealing my precious rowboat oars. I've had to hide them, along with just about everything else I own. It's a disgrace, that's what it is. It's all because of that thieving monkey. He's developed a real taste for my chilled banana soup. And makes off with whatever he can get his paws on. <gasps> there is a monkey on this island. I must have used up half a driftweed ship to make them. So far, 
He's always slipped past me and gotten away scot-free. It wouldn't be so bad, but I keep having to reset the traps whenever pirates go blundering into them. <sighs> Makes me wonder why I bother. Church soup brown soup sounds tasty. Stomach away from my belongings. Just a taste, I could take a spoon. I said no. Now get out of here. I'm sure you've got pressing business to attend to. <laughs> hey, 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 now. You stay away from there. That's my new base of operations. Well, it will be when I get it finished now that I've finally got the materials. See, a young clown named Driftweed happened along and started to mess around with my primitive art up on the cliffside. Primitive art? Sounds great. Hey! I wouldn't expect you to appreciate my work any more than Driftweed did. That idiot even managed to scuttle his own ship with it. That is actually something I did. Hubris ultimately leads to calamity, I suppose. It's a metaphor for life, just like all art. Hmm. Yes. Very deep. Very meaningful. <laughs> anyway, I've been salvaging the wreck of the sea monkey and using it to build myself a real home. A place folks like you can't just wander inside. Want a bit of rough and escape? Oh, I don't think I could bear the loneliness out at sea. I may not like it when folks mess with my art, but at least it gives me someone to yell at. Again, reasonable. Got yourself a death wish, eh? Well, too bad. The island's inhabitants returned their cotton swab key to its hiding place before they left. I suppose they thought they were doing visitors a favor by keeping them away from LeChuck. But it just meant more trouble for me. I had to find space near here for a secret stash where rampaging pirates, the sun, and a dreaded monkey can't spoil my supplies. How are you? So the cotton keys were yes, hidden? Yes, they hid it. And no, I don't know where. It's probably something monkey related. Most things around here are. Ooh. Ah, but who cares? I've got my own possessions to worry about. Oh, there's the banana tree. Although I could definitely reach that. Delicious ripe bananas hanging tantalizingly out of reach. Herman uses a special banana picker to harvest them. He can be pretty resourceful when he has to be. Perfect. So there are still memoirs here. I mean, of course there would be, but... I guess I just wouldn't know where all the memoirs would be. So I know there's a shipwreck over that way as well I want to look at. Read No More Neighbors by Herman Tufrock. Well, that did it. All the nosy thieving pirates stomping around have finally driven out the last of the locals away from Monkey Islands. Not that I care. But there was something reassuring about seeing them on their daily hike to the giant stone monkey heads in the jungle. Now that they're gone, there's no one left who knows the secret of getting past the... Now what they call it again? Palindrome? Palisade? Paladanium? Pal Palladium? Swapping great wall of wooden spikes. That's what, what it is. Makes me wish I had uh, lumber to build my own. The only outsider I ever saw get past that thing was Driftwood Fella. And he's long gone. Probably had very important business to attend to. Okay, so by locals they mean the cannibals. Also, I'm sorry if you hear background noise. It seems like they're still doing road walk. I, I don't know what they're doing. But the entire road has been blocked off local to me. I, you shouldn't be able to hear it because I got noise suppression on. But if so, I do apologize. There it is, the sea monkey. Oh, that's a shame. I really like the sea monkey. It had a charm to it, even though it was utterly destroyed. By Guybrush. Oh! Toy chicken. A toy chicken, sadly it doesn't squeak. Chicken. Monocule. Perfect. So logically, if this is the uh, Monkey Island 1, 
then there should be no reference to Monkey Island 2 here. But then again, Capsize Kate is still here, so... Maybe. So this should be Wally's, Wally's monocule that we gave her Captain Dread. Alright, let's see if Captain Coco wants this. You must treat Captain Coco with the utmost respect. At the end of the day, he's a very important man. Aha! Repair. Admiral Coco! That's right. Look at this guy. Show your respects and salute Admiral Coco right now. Respect Captain Coco. Oh, Admiral Coco, sorry. By mistake. Now, something over here I could put on, right? We can return Captain Coke, Admiral Coco, to his people. There. You're looking at home already. Yes. It must be nice of you to have your fellow coconut supporting you. Huge is an understatement. I'm not sure where to start. Of course. I'll go find uh, Guybrush, Captain Coco. You're a lifesaver. I mean, Admiral Coco. Sorry, sir. Looking for golden... Monkey idols. You're right. Standing around chatting won't get me anywhere. I should check out the smoke coming from the trees. Aye, aye, sir. Thank you, Admiral Coco. What a useful fella. Hey, buddy. Hanging around. Alright, just thought I'd give it a go. That's the thing when you're actually playing this. In Monkey Islands, you didn't really have the options to just do shit like that. Things that you would just reasonably try. Rather than having to do all the puzzle stuff like the game wants you to. In this you can just fire at rope and be like, oh, does that work? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> you just try things that you can't normally try. There's another point in Monkey. Oh. I feel like finding all the memoirs on this one will be a little bit harder. Considering this is a massive jungle. Going up here will give me a good overview so I can see everything as well. Hello, what's this? Another letter. Please read by Herman Tufrop. There's bananas around it, so I'm guessing this is for our little friends. To everybody on the island, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Here are instructions for how to appreciate this primitive art. One, do not interfere with or remove the boulder set in place to atop the log. It is a deliberate aesthetic choice. Two, do not rotate or reposition the log. Its cardinal direction is of deep thematic significance. Do not accidentally drop boulders onto the primitive art from the mountaintop above. Uh, that, this is reckless and destructive behavior. Four, do not paint, sketch, or in any way reproduce an image of the primitive art for sale or personal use, or you'll be hearing from my lawyers. Hmm. Okay, so let's see here. There's a monkey idol somewhere. And I think that's to the right. So we're just going to turn it... Right. Like that, I reckon. Don't touch. That sign can't tell me what to do, because I can't read. Perfect. First try. Is that how the thing works? I never really realized that's how it worked. But yeah, in hindsight, that makes a lot of sense. Loads of... Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Good lord. Ah, oh, Alex. Thank you for the raid. Ah, oh, that scared the life out of me. How's it going, guys? How's it going? <laughs> That's what a big idol was. Which means... Aha! Gold monkey idol. Perfect. Whatever's inside this barrel is cold, wet, and squishy. Following the monkeys to lead me to glory. Aha! Oh. Huh. The mystery of the monkey idols. 
So this is a fair bit different to the game, obviously. In the game, you didn't need the monkey idols to get it. You just needed to contact the cannibals. The unabridged memoirs of the Legend of Monkey Island, aka Guybrush Rewards. Hello, fellow pirate. Thanks for coming to rescue me. I really owe you one. But we're not done yet. The pirate lord stands everything I've always wanted. And he earned it all the hard way. I can't let Lechiant ruin the Sea of Thieves he helped build. Uh, and I won't abandon the lane either. That's why I can't afford to wait any longer. We're setting sail for Monkey Island. I hope this reaches you in time. In time to catch me up so we can defeat him together. Guybrush. P.S. Let's meet by the big monkey heads. 